Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. This is an unboxing video for the uh, Harlequin Troop and the Solitaire. Which has come out today. There's a little, looks like a Shadow Seer badge. Cool. So we're going to get this uh, unboxed and let you have a look at what's inside. We'll start with the uh, Troop. I think. The other side of the box shows some alternate painting methods, if you can see them that. To the front. Not quite sure how I'm going to paint these yet. I would like to use purple on something. I've mm. been waiting to do that for a while. We haven't used purple on much, have we? No. And when I have a painted over it, I'll change it to another colour scheme. It's purple and yellow, maybe. Mm. If anyone's got any ideas on how to paint these, uh, please put in the comments. Okay. So we have one and a half sprues, well three little sprues of guys. Cool. Do like three sprues at the same, really. Very different. But the different. different. Really? I think so. Let's have a look. Well, that one seems to have a couple of legs on and bits and pieces. Yeah, I think they're the same. I think you've got three. No, I'm wrong. No, because that, that's wrong. a different clay. They're all that different one. places, so there's yeah. three different ones. Ah, there we go. It's just because there's three that got a cloak on. Yeah. Oh. Cool. So there we go, we'll have a look at what options we can put on these. See, there's two very cool looking curved swords there. Yeah. That's and there's the fusion gun. Another fusion gun. I like the swords. Harlequin kisses. There's the uh, couple of face masks there. I think I've got the Mohicans on here. you got the Mohicans? Yeah. I've on a braid. How many Mohicans have we got? Have we got one? One, two. We've got two on here. Oh, I can't do And that. a long braid. I wish you'd said there was just one. I could have done my last Mohicans joke. <sighs> There's one there as well. I'm going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> There's the other sprue. That's a very cool rapier. It type, is, so isn't it? That's I being really used. like that one. That's definitely being used. Yeah. Cool. So it's like got quite a few face mask options as well. Hmm. So we'll get them together. What else have we got? We've got, we've got a some... sheet of transfers for Harlequins. Ooh. Hmm. That's cool. Don't we've got any transfers in this. Oh, very nice. And there you go. New Elder esque Harlequin transfers. And we've got the uh, Harlequin's book for building them. So cool, we'll have a look through that and we'll see if there's anything we need to tell you. Yeah. But um, we, we uh, have a look at the solitaire mate. I need some scissors for this. Okay, so there is the solitaire sprue. There he is. So we'll be back in a moment when we've put these guys together. See you in a sec. And there we go, we're back and we have constructed the troop and the solitaire. Very easy to put together, to be quite honest. And uh, we didn't really need to follow the instructions. No, we did not. Really. <laughs> um, so let's look at the solitaire first. There he is. He looks awesome. He is, look at the way he's jumping off that. That's so mm. cool. And they're like diamonds, not squares, come off the back. They look like squares on the pictures I've seen, but they're definitely diamonds. And you don't have to have them on if you don't want to. I know some people don't like that effect. I do. I like that. But it's completely separate from the cloak, and there's no little notches in the cloak or anything. So you wouldn't need to add it on, and it would look cool yeah. still. But I, I, I put it on because I like it. But I just love the way that he's jumping off. That. He's only held on by one little bit there, but it's stuck on no problem as well, so I'm quite impressed. It's a very cool model. Mm. Need to do a bit of uh, shaving off of a couple of those bits yet. Yeah. Bit of tidying up. Yeah, bit of tidying up before I spray him, and then I shall paint him in whatever colours I decide to do. Maybe purple and uh, yellow. Mm. If anyone's got any ideas, feel free to throw them on. I'll have a look, see what I think. Cool, that's the solitaire. So the troop, you get six guys in the box. 
which is cool, which is half the uh, size of a squad. There's plenty of options in there. There's a lot of mask options. Yeah, a lot. Um, Some of them are quite cool as well. It's hard to choose which ones look best, to be quite honest. Yeah, that one's one with a fusion blaster. So we've got two fusion blasters and also Halloquin caresses. There's the other one with the fusion blaster. That one I've actually put a coin under the base because it was flying off the base a bit though. A little top heavy. Yeah, if you do put that one together, uh, you might want to put it nearer to the edge of the base. Because um, a lot of them are in weird positions, but I really like it. There's mm. a lot of movement going on. This guy's cool. He's the troop leader. He comes with a very cool elder type rapier going on there. <laughs> that is awesome. That is cool. I do like that sword. And you get the curved like dark elder swords in the pack as well. There's a lot of cool swords in there. Yeah, it's there hard is. to choose which one to, to use actually. It's a little bit to upgrade though. I'm like, oh I don't want to upgrade him now. <laughs> but I've upgraded uh, two with Harlequin's kisses as well, that one. And also the neural is it a neuron gun? Neural gun. Yeah, something like that. Neuron disruptor. It's very cool, it's like a crystal on the end. Yeah. Very in keeping with the character that they are, kind of thing, was like lots of little Harley Oof. Quinn kind of that things. That guy's just got a Harley Quinn's kiss and a shuriken pistol, simply because I used up all the other special weapons. This one, I like the way this one's turned out, this one's one of my favourite. The way she's looking down at something, she's about to nail it in the head with a crystal thing. And then we've got this sword curved backwards around it. She's sort of jumping down, there's a lot of motion coming from the uh, well, 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 bits of cloth or whatever they are, yeah, and to be hanging like from the back. And sashes, aren't they? Sashes, kind of thing. sashes, <laughs> sashes. And then we've got this half grill face, half skull face cloth going on there. I like that one, that's very cool. I think that's possibly one of my favourites of that lot, yeah. But uh, I enjoyed putting them together, yeah, they were really good, really easy as well, dead easy, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Didn't really notice any because we didn't use the instructions. Well, I, di I didn't really say. Yeah, I, I, I we did any. look at the instructions, but it's just like putting most troops together. There is one thing that uh, this bit here with the bodies, you've got the A parts. So that's three fronts and two backs. Those those have to go together, the A lot, and you've got the B ones. They have to go with each other. Because there's slightly different fittings on the inside to the two sides of the right. body. And then you've got C, which is the one that sort of like fits on its own. And those are all the masks in the book there. I think one of the numberings was wrong in that, but then again... It's not really an issue that amount like of, that, to be honest. That amount of masks, I'm not surprised yeah. that one got a little bit... You see there's a lot of cool options there. Yeah. And it's just pretty, I only had a few I could pick from. Um, one, I think... The troop leader is number 58, it's the back of the head though. Not on there. Yeah. So if you have a bit of troop leader, you use up one of your uh, multi-face options. We've also got those two there, which are fully, full heads. Full heads, yeah, with masks. I did use one of them, it's like the phantom, because you've got to use at least one if you make a troop leader. Yeah. Uh, I think you'd have to use one anyway, wouldn't you, because you've got six guys and only five backs of the head, so yeah. you'd have to use one anyway. Yeah. Um, Cool, so I enjoyed that. I also noticed something else mm -hmm. on the instructions. Oh, it's not Sol Solitaire's copter. Uh, Shrub Solitaire. Turn it over. What's that? That? Yeah. <gasps> Is this the fabled Star Weaver that we've heard so much about? Mm. Yeah. Star Weaver. Because that's big. Possibly. It, if you look at it, it's like a, a stretched venom. I, I do. Yeah. I like the Dark Elder Venoms. So that's like a bigger version of it. So that's going to be really cool if, mm. that's, if that is what it looks like from those pictures. And there's also I did notice in White Dwarf itself on the front page. It's really blurry. Really blurry. Where was it? Was it like one of those conspiracy theories thing? Where's the one? I I don't know where the current one is. Okay. There we go. Sorry. Muttering around the background here. There we go. On page three. Ooh. Yeah, not that. Um, <laughs> at the top, above the bike that's coming out next week, there, 
very blurry image, but that is definitely not a bike. It's definitely on a stand. It looks like that, actually. And it looks like the drawing Let on the back. just get the drawing. For comparison reasons. There you go. You can see that it's got like the gun on the it's top. It's got that gun there, on not it? Yeah, and it looks And a little like, guy. It's got like a very big sort of front part. Yeah. There, curving down. Uh, yeah, very similar to that. So I think, it, I think it does look like a stretched venom. So we'll, f we'll find out next Friday, won't we, when it's we on will, yeah. or before, if so. one of the sites leaks it. But next week, we've got these dudes. Bought two box sets. Yeah. So um, we're going to take four bikes and uh, various options. So if anyone's got any ideas how I should build them, please put that in the comments. Because we've got shuriken cannons there and we've got these haywire guns, which are very dark elderly. And then we've got this very elder looking bike. And you've got the options of having bolasses. Or the, I think there's like there is at the background. It's like a big spear thing by the looks of it. If anyone has any suggestions on how I should build them, I might just two, just do two of each, two different types. Mm -hmm. But if anyone thinks no, oh, don't build any shuriken cannons, or oh, oh, don't build the hair wire guns, are not worth it. Please let me know. I'll take that into account. And um, cool. So hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at the these harlequins. I've certainly enjoyed putting them together. Oh, and if you want to see them again, it's perhaps from the old metal ones, I forgot. That's one of the old metal ones, actually sprayed in white. Uh, I sprayed them ages ago and just never painted them. Those are the two troop leaders. So you can see, very similar to the metal ones. Still a lot of motion going on there. Mm. Arms the same way. I think it does a very good job with these plastic models. Mm, definitely. So that's very cool. Right. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out loads if you do that. And stay tuned for more upcoming stuff. I've got a Skaven uh, showcase with the Skaven I've been painting. We've got some more Don't Starve coming up if you're interested in the video games with you. Yeah. And um, I've got my Tyranids up there from. Uh, showcase Tyranids went up yesterday. Yeah. So if yeah. you haven't seen that, that's cool. And my Blood Angels went up two days before that, I think. Yeah, they did, yeah. So the Death Storm models are now painted. I'm so ready and moment to go. As soon as we get a chance, we're going to play the game and record that. Yep. And you'll be able to see the battles from the Death Storm book then. And the Shield of Bal. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Yeah. So that's what we've got planned coming up soon. So, again, thanks for watching. And we shall see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.